How did the ancient Egyptians move 300-ton stone obelisks without modern machinery? These towering monoliths, often carved from a single piece of granite, stood as powerful symbols of divine connection and royal authority. The process began at the Aswan quarries, where skilled workers used dolerite balls, harder than granite, to pound precise trenches around the desired stone, carefully freeing it from the bedrock. Once detached, the obelisk was painstakingly shaped and polished to a smooth finish, but transporting these colossal stones was the true engineering marvel. Massive wooden sledges were built to cradle the obelisk, and teams of workers dragged them over land. To reduce friction, evidence suggests they poured water on the sand, making it easier to slide the heavy load. Some obelisks traveled over 500 miles, floated down the Nile on specially constructed barges, and were then hauled upright using ramps, levers, and sheer human ingenuity. The largest known, the unfinished obelisk, weighs over 1,000 tons and remains in its quarry, hinting at the limits of this ancient technology. What do you think inspired such determination? Would you have dared to take part in this monumental task?